Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about GitHub today and a little tip that I wish I had known earlier, uh, but now I'm going to share that tip with you. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so pretty often I want to link to code uh, on GitHub and so I'll open up, you know, some file and I will scroll down to whatever line I want to link to. Let's say that I want to link to this line and I will click on that line. Uh, sometimes I'll also want to link to a range of lines, and so you can hold shift. Uh, I'm showing the keyboard today, so you can see that. You can hold shift and select some number of lines. Um, and so that, that'll give you a link to those lines. And you'll notice here uh, that we have the line numbers listed here. And so that if somebody were to take this link and open it in another window, um, also you can ignore those tabs, uh, then it would link to this particular line. Uh, however, there's one problem with this. And that is uh, these lines or this particular link here is not a permalink. And the reason for that is, is it lists the branch that we're looking at here. And this branch may move over time. So someone may add code above or below this uh, such that these particular line numbers uh, no longer match up with the actual um, code that you're trying to indicate here. And there is a very, very easy fix for this. There's actually two ways to do this. Um, the, the first way is to press the Y key on the keyboard. Uh, and what that will do is it'll change that uh, branch to be the, um, you know, SHA-1 for that particular commit instead of being, you know, a branch name. So this is a permanent reference to this particular uh, link here. And so this is a permalink. And so you can share this and it will always refer to this particular bit of code. Um, and for GitHub, it also refers to this even if this branch gets deleted, because uh, GitHub keeps commits around forever, it seems like. Um, although if the repository is deleted, then you know all bets are off there, or if it's made private or other things. Uh, there's actually another way to do this. Uh, there are these three dots that appear next to any highlighted region, and you can click on these three dots, and there's a copy permalink button, which uh, you know takes takes this particular link and puts it into your clipboard. So that's that's another way to access these permalinks. Uh, but I wish I knew this sooner, and I feel really bad for all of the links that I gave out that have now rotted because the code has changed. Um, but anyway, hopefully this is helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.